everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. Scripture says here at Isaiah 26 and 3, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. Amen. Father God, tonight, see, when we come before you, we thank you for that perfect peace as we keep our minds stayed on you. And help us, Lord, during these troublesome times, we might maintain, Lord, our mind in you, in Christ Jesus, stayed on you. And we know that all is well. To your glory and your praise, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Trisha had a blessed day. Yes, yes. You know, Bless. God just been dealing with me all woke up this morning. And I thought, okay, Lord, what do you want to say? So I'm just going to say what thus said the Lord. Mm -hmm. We normally don't come on Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. You know, we have table talk, but feel led by the Lord to just come on tonight. Yeah, I hope you yeah, like this topic, yeah, yeah. how to have peace in a chaos world. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Everybody sure. know we're having chaos on me. I mean, you know, it's so much going mm -hmm. on in the, in the world. I like I like to show, uh, um, what do you call it, something about, um, I say lifetime. It's not lifetime. Anyway, it's, it's a detective show, and they tell stuff. It's real, and how the man done killed his wife. He got away with him several years later. They found out he didn't. They put him in, in jail, you know. So it's it's so much chaos going on tonight. But, you know, the Bible told us <laughs> it would be this way. In the book of John, chapter 16, verse <coughs> 1 through 4, out of the message, it reads like this. Mm -hmm. Told you this. He said, I've told you these things mm -hmm. to prepare you for rough times ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rough times ahead. He's telling us, yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm telling you this mm -hmm. now, okay? He said, they are going to throw you out of the meeting places. Yeah. There mm -hmm. will even come a time when everyone will kill you, who mm -hmm. kills you, will think he's doing mm -hmm. God a favor. Right. They yeah. would do things because they mm -hmm. never really understood the Father. I've told you these mm -hmm. things so that mm -hmm. when the time comes yes. and they start in on you, you'll mm -hmm. be well warned and ready for them. Yeah. So yeah. he's told us it's yeah. going to be some rough times, difficult mm -hmm. times, you know, being a Christian. But he said, tonight is how to have peace in a chaos world. Mm -hmm. It's chaos all around yes, us. Yes, it is. Okay. We don't have to. We don't have to ask you, did you know that? I think that everywhere, by the way, <laughs> no, if you have the right mind, you pretty well know there is a world of chaos here. Yeah. But, you yeah. know, uh, again, they notice what she said. They uh, come a time that people will, there will be those that will kill you and really think that they're doing That's God's right. service. That's right. Say, oh, got them <laughs> out of the way now. Good riddance, you know. Uh, nah, nah. But, you know, he said because they really don't know the Father. They really don't understand him. That's why. But in 1 John 4 and uh, verse 6, he says, we are of God. He that knoweth God heard us. Mm -hmm. He that is not of God heard not us. This is how we know the spirit of truth and the spirit That's of right. error. That's right. Verse 7 say, but beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, mm -hmm. and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not, know it not God for God is love amen amen mm. well you know as, as he was who he'd been doing all day and the first thing he, he said how do you have peace in the chaos world and I thought how Lord he said mm -hmm. develop a prayer life mm -hmm. I said okay Lord you know mm -hmm. sometimes I get a little lazy yeah. don't want to get up and pray and I go in there but I'm half asleep but he said develop a prayer life mm -hmm. that's how you're gonna mm -hmm. deal living in a chaos world and so it, it describes it in Proverbs 18, excuse me, Proverbs 8, uh, chapter, verse 17 through 18, King James Version. He says, he said, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early <coughs> shall find me. Riches mm -hmm. and honor are mm -hmm. with me, yea, double, dual with riches and, and righteousness. And in 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, it says, pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. So he's saying mm -hmm. develop a prayer life, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. uh, so that when things come, it won't bother. You know, I can... If sometimes I've missed praying, and if ooh, I go through the day, that I get irritated with this little thing. And then I notice that when I do pray, <coughs> it's like it just bounces off. You can, you can literally, it really feels like it just bounces off. It's like, well, what was that? Mm -hmm. Oh, say to you stupid. It just, it just <coughs> sort of bounces off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's by faith. You do it anyway. Mm -hmm. You do it anyway. Press, mm -hmm. press. Do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the second thing he said mm -hmm. was, 
He says, pray for all and those in authority. Mm-hmm. Pray for all. You know, sometimes we don't want to pray for mm-hmm. our enemies. No, Lord, mm-hmm. kill them. No, mm-hmm. he said, no, uh-uh, no. You got to change that. You got to pray for you. You got to pray for your enemies. So right. in First right. Timothy mm-hmm. chapter 2, uh, 1 through 4, King James Version says, <clears throat> I exhort therefore that the first of all supplication, prayer, intercession, and give them, giving of thanks be made for all men. Mm-hmm. Then he says this, mm-hmm. for kings, just like the president, uh, mm-hmm. you know, for mm-hmm. all that they, all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable mm-hmm. life. He's telling you, that you mm-hmm. may live a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Mm-hmm. For this is a good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who mm-hmm. will have all men to be saved and to come unto mm-hmm. the knowledge of good. the truth. Good. Mm-hmm. So pray mm-hmm. for all. Th- you know, that could be authority. That could be your pastor. That could be your boss on your job. Wherever you may go, who's ever in authority, pray for them. You know, we, we don't want to pray for them, but God is saying that if you want to live a quiet and peaceful life in this chaotic world we are in today, you're going to have to pray for those in authority. Pray for your president. Uh-huh. Pray uh-huh. for the government leaders, you know. There they may be doing some crazy uh-huh. things, uh-huh. but God said pray that you might live a quiet and peaceful life. Uh-huh. So, see, that's one way you're saying that how can you have peace in yeah. the midst of, of troublesome right. times and, and as it is okay again he says pray for kings again the mm-hmm. president or our leaders or wherever mm-hmm. you are whatever nation you live in your leaders pray for them whether you like them or not that's right you your job yeah. my job that's as a right. christian a born again right. uh, christian is to pray for them for all of those who yeah. are in authority yeah okay all of them yeah why why would I do that? I don't like them. Well, then you will be defeated. You're hurting your own self. Why? He said, because if you pray for them, God promises us that we will lead a quiet yeah. and a peaceable life. That's right. In all godliness and honesty. That's what we do. We'll be honest. We'll do our part. If they say, well, they're not honest. That's not your problem. Don't you That's worry right. about it. You That's look right. to God and you do your part. You pray for them. All of a sudden, you might find yourself getting favorable. <laughs> like, well, why? That's why right. do they do that? Why? God. That's yeah. why God. All right. <laughs> and you know, the, the third one that he told me was <clears throat> walk in love. Mm-hmm. That's going to help you have peace. I mean, walking in love. And you mm-hmm. might not want to, like I say, that you might not want to, the, mm-hmm. the enemies might not want to love them. But my hu- I like what my husband say. He say he, wake, he wakes up and make a decision. I'm going to walk in love with everyone happens today. Mm-hmm. So he, we go out shopping, you know, the <clears throat> waitress is acting hateful. He's going to walk in love anyway. You know, he, he's mm-hmm. a kind person. He's always speaking to someone. So, And that may be not my one of my main characteristics because, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but it says in Ephesians 5 through <laughs> in King James Version, it says, And walk in love as Christ also have loved us and have given himself, himself for mm-hmm. us an mm-hmm. offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling Savior. Mm-hmm. Walk in love. See, right. walking in love keeps out strife, discord, mm-hmm. trouble, and fighting from, from flaring up. Mm-hmm. You know what? I, I, one day I saw this. It's just in the, in the spirit realm. Is if when you walk up to someone and they irritate you or you get in strife or they done, maybe they've done something to you mm-hmm. and you want to get in strife with them, you know, the only way I can explain it, it's like a do- I saw a door that was shut. And you couldn't open that door. Mm-hmm. But when that person got in strife with that person, the door just sort of came open. I saw it open up. Mm-hmm. What was happening? <coughs> you're letting it into your your mm-hmm. spirit. You're letting, that, you're letting it in, that strife, that bitterness. And and you let it in. Mm-hmm. That's right. You can control but it. But when mm-hmm. you, you let it in, you know, mm-hmm. sometimes I, I get ready to go get in the car, my husband open the door for me. Well, he opened the door for me. But we... When we get in strife and bitterness and hatred and all that, we literally open up a door and say, oh, step in. <laughs> My husband <laughs> opened the door. He says, get in. <laughs> well, we open the door and say, come on in. Come on in. Come on in, strife. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not opening the door for her to get in strife. Right? <laughs> we open the door to get that strife out. Yeah, we open the door to right, show that's love. That's right. First John again, uh, First John 4. And nine, again, he says, in this was manifested the love of God towards us because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Herein is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us 
and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sin. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. God made that possible through his son. So if God loves us, and he does, then we, are, have the, we have the opportunity, we have the power and authority to love. Because God, uh, the, uh, the word of God, the love of God have been shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. By the Holy Ghost. See, he says that verse 12, no man had seen God at any time. If we love one another, if you make that choice, somebody say, well, I don't feel love. Don't worry about the feelings. You make that choice. I'm going to love him anyway. Like I said, get up this morning. Lord, whoever, step on my toes. I forgive them before they even step on it. Amen? All right. You make that decision, okay? He said, but whether you feel it or not, all right? No man has seen God at any time, but if we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. That's, that's the way it is, yeah. all right? <laughs> well, I heard the Lord say number four is ask God mm -hmm. for wisdom. Just ask him for wisdom, okay? Mm -hmm. In the book of James, uh, chapter 1, verse 5, King James Version, <coughs> it reads like this. If any of you lack wisdom, <coughs> let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and unbraid it not, and it shall be given to him. In other mm -hmm. words, he, if you ask, he's going to give it to you. So you're saying, what, you, what do I need wisdom? You know, in your prayer life, you know, ask God for wisdom. Say, Lord, okay, it's a new day. Wake up in the morning, Lord, it's a new day. Mm -hmm. I need your wisdom. <laughs> Lead me in make, making the right decisions today, that's okay? Good. That could be in raising your family. <coughs> uh, that could be, uh, you know, whether with your wife or your spouse or how to be a productive at work, you know. Mm -hmm. And sometimes mm -hmm. just little simple things is uh, asking God for wisdom. He may just say, well, you know, you're always rushing. Get up early if you got to go to work. <laughs> so you got to be at work at a certain time. Well, uh -oh. you may leave it a normal time. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. rushing, traffic in the way, you know, and then you get all frustrated mm -hmm. and what's happening. Mm -hmm. You're in a chaos world now. Mm -hmm. Somebody mm -hmm. cut you off. But if you take the, maybe leave 15 minutes earlier than you normally do. Ah, oh, it mm -hmm. may get it may be rushing, but you get there on time, and now mm -hmm. you ain't got all that that feeling in you. You know, you, you got mm -hmm. peace. You, you actually mm -hmm. got the peace, peace of God over you. Yeah. See, simple little things. Yeah. Hey, I've learned this. I I learned this because I'm a woman, and most women try on about four or five clothes before they get ready to go out the door. Where I I tried. Oh, I don't like that. Put this, oh, I don't like that. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I can't be doing this all the time because mm -hmm. I'm rushing now and I'm getting frustrated. Mm -hmm. Pick your clothes out at night before you, before you get up next morning. That's something simple. That's wisdom of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How to have peace in a chaos world? You, mm -hmm. You're keeping yourself peace upon you. Mm -hmm. So that when you go, what they going to see? They're going to see the glory of God on you. They ain't going to see you all frustrated coming in. How'd you, oh, I ain't had a good day. Don't, don't talk to me this morning. No, but you walk in, you, you don't come, you got your clothes out, you left early, you're peaceful, you walk in, good morning! Mm -hmm. This is the day the Lord has made, and I will rejoice in it. They might not want to hear you say that, though. I don't know, they might mm -hmm. not. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it'd be good to organize or plan it. Yeah. Uh, some people are not a planner, but write it down. When yeah. God says write yeah. the vision and yeah. make it plain, that he that read it may run with it. You know, it's important. Write even you. When you write something down, I notice this. When I write things down, uh, what I want to do is something to come to me, write that down. Something else, oh, and I need to do this, write that down. Okay, then that day, I go before God, and I say, Father, I thank you for leading, guiding me this day, giving me direction, and I praise you, Father, in Jesus' name. And I've asked him. You know what you do? You acknowledge him first. You put him first. Now, oh, what should I do today? What, what do I need to do? Oh, remember, I've written it down. Get your book, open it up, and I find that most of the times what I have written down, I get about everything done for that day if I write it down. Mm -hmm. But if I don't write it down, That's right. look, That's I'm telling you, oh, I forgot so this and I forgot. You, so you, could, you could really get yourself in a mess, you know. You can get in strife, you, even that. You aggravated at yourself. And see, some people get mad at themselves it's like why they treat me like that they mad at themselves because yeah. they know they were wrong That's right. you know whatever the case is okay you know yeah but uh peace of god he's, yeah. he's god is a god of order so when he said in matthew 6 and 33 seek ye first the kingdom of god that is god's way of doing things then all these other things he said he'll add unto you you'll be taken care of but you have to do it god's way you got to it's the order of god slow down stop 
Take the time to do it. Don't get in such a hurry. I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I see no way possible I'm going to do that. He knows that. That's why he says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Amen. I mean, it mm. seems so simple. Ask God for wisdom and like raising your kids. If you got a 13-year-old child, he just turned 13. They go through some changes. But if you wake up in the morning, you pray mm -hmm. for that child, and you say, God, mm -hmm. give me real wisdom how to handle my children. Mm -hmm. God will give you wisdom. I mean, each mm -hmm. one is different, so you can't handle them all the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm. they're going to want to adventure out. They're 13 years old. But as they adventure out, and you ask God for wisdom, and when they do maybe do something wrong, you've already been to God in prayer. And you could just, you got to just cast that current and when you they see the piece of you on you that that child see the piece on you well you know what they might change their way how they handle things in the house you keep peace in the house mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. yeah, yeah that's so, good go ahead oh, so mm -hmm. number <clears throat> number five is mm -hmm. ask god all your steps daily all of your steps daily okay mm -hmm. he says order my steps in thy word and mm -hmm. let not any iniquity have dominion over me That's deliver good. me from mm -hmm. the oppression of man so mm -hmm. will i keep thou myself just simple let ask mm -hmm. god to order your step i mean you know, get up with a That's prayer but lord it's good. a new day mm -hmm. order my steps guide me and help me mm -hmm. and you know what he will mm -hmm. because in um psalms 119 133 mm -hmm. it says guide me as you promised, <coughs> don't let evil rule over me. Save me from those who want to hurt me, mm -hmm. and I will mm -hmm. obey your mm -hmm. instruction. That's mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. And notice, she, notice the key to it. She acts. Yeah. The writer acts. I'm asking you, Lord, to do this for me today, to guide me, to order my steps in your word, Lord. Now, you give God an opportunity, a chance to do what he have already done, okay? He just empowered it, empowered your angels to work on your behalf. And just and say, open your mouth and say it. What do you want? So, Lord, I don't understand why this happened. Well, did you say something? Well, I didn't think it would happen. That's called lack of faith. That displeases God, That's right. okay? So if faith without works is dead. And, and to please God, you must, when you come to him, you must believe that he is, and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You must believe. So if you believe something and you activate it by speaking it out, being not just heroes of it, but doers of the word of God, God says, then, it is then, you can be, have an opportunity to be blessed. That's right. He'll bless you. He'll empower you to be blessed. That's the way we bless, okay? Even in a chaotic society. That's right. All right. <laughs> but you know, <clears throat> my mind just been ticking all day, God talking mm -hmm. to me. It was so many scriptures coming up to me. I think that when God <clears throat> orders our step in the book of Isaiah, um, I think it's 26 and 3, it says, uh, in the, I think it was New King James Version, it said, it said, God orders our step. He said, He will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed okay. on him okay. because he trusted That's in right. the Lord. Right. He'll mm -hmm. keep you in perfect peace. All right. He mm -hmm. listen. He will keep you in perfect peace. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. won't let you get all flirted. I mean, I, mm -hmm. many of times I've, like I said, in a restaurant with somebody. Oh, that child didn't know no better behind me. He's trying to get the <laughs> hand for the seven out of the thing. You know, it's a nice. This is a nice restaurant, and mm -hmm. I, I don't travel all day. And I'm, I'm just want to relax and have a peaceful mm -hmm. dinner with my husband this evening before we go in. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it splashed all on my blouse and on the top of the wall, my hair. <laughs> somebody say, he'll keep you in perfect peace. Mm -hmm. I heard somebody say that. Peace. Keep you in perfect yeah, peace. that's right. Keep you in perfect well, peace. Well, you know what? My flesh wanted to, to say something, jerk him up, you know, take this child out <laughs> and beat him. But I could just, you literally feel the peace of God come over you. And it's like everything's going to be all right. Why get upset about something like that? That's and I'm actually stupid. <laughs> but I had peace. He kept me in perfect peace. That's good. Mm -hmm. So uh, number six, mm -hmm. it says make friends. Mm -hmm. If you want to live in a cat world, just make friends. Somebody that you can 
that's your personality now. Don't go out there and get some stranger and you don't know <laughs> nothing about them and then mm. find out they some kind of psychopath that done killed about three or four people and you didn't know it. But you know, let the let God <laughs> audio steps. You don't mm. know whether they you can trust them or not. But make friends in the book of Luke, uh, chapter sixteen, verse nine, the King James Version it says and I say unto you, make t to yourself friends of the mammon of righteousness, mm -hmm. that when ye fail, that mm -hmm. they may receive you in everlasting habitation. <coughs> in Hebrews 13, 16, King James mm -hmm. Version says, but to do good and to communicate, forget not, for with such sacrifice God is well pleased. In other words, God said, I'm pleased with you communicate. You know, make some friends. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm -hmm. You know, sometimes when I can be in a bad mood sometimes, and we go out and just, I can go to the gym or somewhere and just start talking to somebody. Just kindly, a woman came around me today and said, hey, how you doing? She grabbed my hand, she said, how you doing, sweetie? You know, you just talk for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a joy, that's a piece of something that comes over. You may, be, you may be going through something, but you don't forget about it. What's happening? God is giving you that peace in a chaotic world. Mm -hmm. That's good, that's good. You know, it reminds me of a song that God had given my wife back uh, some time ago. He says, and the song is titled, What Will I Get If I Follow You? <laughs> you know, I can hear, oh, you know, what will I get if I follow you? He says, for, you know, for my grace and mercy will cover, your, will cover your sins. If you seek me early, in the morning you shall find me. <laughs> and I will give my riches and honor to you. Yeah. This is this is what the word of God, the Spirit of God, giving is. <coughs> what will I get if I follow you? Listen, if you listen and obey, God says to do my will, I will set you high above all the nations. <coughs> and that's what He said to Israel. Now He's saying the same thing to us. We've been born again. Okay, He says all these blessings and all these blessings will follow you. He says. I will bless. I will bless all your steps. Mm -hmm. I will bless your children. Mm -hmm. I will bless the fruit of your body. I will bless your bank accounts. Uh oh. <laughs> he said, Glory. "What will I get if I follow you?" <laughs> he said, "He said I will bless." God said, "I will bless. I will bless. I will bless all that you do." That's what God said. That you know, God again. There's no darkness in Him, at all. God will never speak anything about that. I'm going to zap you and I'm going to leave a greasy spot after not finish with you. No, no, no. That's what men say. That's what religions say. But God is about love. Now, there is a wrath that he has, but he give you ample amount of time. He said, come on. Come on. Your choice is it. I'm going to bless you. All it takes is faith in God. It's just trusting and be just heroes and doers of his word. That's what he's saying. Come on. Come on. Right in the midst of a chaotic world, it's okay. God said, I'll take care of you. And I have found it to be so. I believe that is true. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to end with this. I think it's, mm -hmm. I think I forgot. It might be number seven. I think I'm on. Anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, after you spent your day in the world, this chaotic world, you need to come back mm -hmm. and get in the presence of the Lord. Build yourself up. Because mm -hmm. you done gave out and gave out and gave out, and then you drain now, and you're like, whoa. Mm -hmm. You know, you're in your house and like, oh, nobody don't bother me. Because you done give and give and give. You know, and um, because see, in this world, mm -hmm. well, let me read this. In, in John 16, 33, King James Version, it says, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. Mm -hmm. In the world ye mm -hmm. shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, mm -hmm. I have overcome the world. In other words, he's Lord telling God. you, okay, you, you're going to go through yep. some things in this world. You know, mm -hmm. you're going to lose a loved one. You're going to, mm -hmm. you know, you may lose your job. You may get a divorce. You may have mm -hmm. been mistreated by your parents. You, mm -hmm. you may, mm -hmm. uh, you know, have financial problems. It's, there is trouble. You're going to face some trouble. We have mm -hmm. wars and rumors and all kind of chaos mm -hmm. going on. He's mm -hmm, telling you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're going to, but be of good cheer. In other words, he's saying you can have peace because mm -hmm. I've already come. In other words, we talked to you suddenly. He left us the confidence. He already mm -hmm. made plans of what he knew was going to go good. through all this. Mm -hmm. He's telling you, you can have peace mm -hmm. in a chaos world okay. simply mm -hmm. by just trusting him. You know, yeah. Yeah. he says uh, yeah. in the Philippians 4, <coughs> chapter 7, verse King James, says, mm -hmm. and the peace mm -hmm. of God, mm -hmm. which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart mm -hmm. and minds. 
through Christ Jesus. He's okay. telling you, you can have peace in a chaos world just by trusting in the Lord. Sure, you're going to be facing some trials and tribulation, but you know, if you learn to trust the Lord, learn to lead on him, learn, let him order your steps, keep yourself prayed up in the Lord, you know. So mm -hmm. I said, well, you got to mm -hmm. pray. Well, mm -hmm. first of all, in, in Jude 20, he tells us in Jude 20, verse 21, he's a read version, it says, but ye, dear friend, use your most holy faith to build yourself up even strong. In other words, you're going to mm -hmm. go through some stuff. <laughs> But you're going to have to build yourself up. You know, mm -hmm. we leak. Mm -hmm. We leak. We leak. Yeah. We leak. If we don't go back to this word, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says pray with the help of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes I don't know what to pray. I say, Lord, I'm going through some. Lord, you might have kids. You don't know what all oh, this stuff. Mm -hmm. See, you don't know what to pray. You don't know uh, what may be encountered for you that day. But go mm -hmm. and pray in the Holy Spirit. He said, keep mm -hmm. yourself safe. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. He said, keep yourself safe in God's love as you wait for the Lord Jesus Christ in his mercy to give you eternal life. Yeah, that's good. So you got to be wrapped yep. up in him. Show help. You got to be wrapped up in Jesus. And so, so again, she said in, in Philippians, the fourth chapter, verse 7, remember again, she says, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding. People. I'm telling you, people ain't going to understand it. That's right. They will not understand it. He says this peace, the peace of God, because you've been born again, will keep your hearts and minds. Keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus, through the anointed Jesus. It will keep you. So regardless of how hard it look or how tough it be, and it'll be way over your head and like yeah. how am I going to do that keep your mouth closed and say yeah. you just keep you, you do your part keep your mind stayed on God just praise him look just praise him say God right. thank you right. I love you God and I praise you you've been so good to me I don't understand Lord how to do this and how to do that I don't know how we're going to make it through this situation or that situation Lord I don't have, I don't make the money or I don't whatever yeah. the case is but all I know God you are God and he said in his word, those who had much got nothing left over. And who those who got just a little can have no lack. So all I know, I'm going to be all right either way. Amen. <laughs> I'll be taken care of. So it's the peace of God. It passes understanding. Human logic, it do, they, they just can't, they don't get it. The world don't get it. But God said, well, keep your hearts and your minds only through Christ Jesus. The, just the true way through Christ Jesus, Amen. Amen. He will keep you. He will keep you. You know, talking about God keeping you in perfect peace. Uh, I was listening to a speaker the, this week, sometime maybe might have been last week, and she was telling the how she had lost her husband tragedy, it was a tragedy accident uh, on an airplane. And when it happened, how many know that it just probably shocked her, everybody, you know. But she said she woke up and she chose to not get into grief. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She chose to just stay in the word, pray, and have that perfect peace. She said, now some may not have not understood because they thought it was disrespecting. Well, your husband mm -hmm, passed away, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but she mm -hmm. chose to not go that route. In other words, she chose to have the perfect peace, walking in God, trusting in him with her life. Sometimes, mm -hmm, you know, we don't know why we go through certain things, but we just have to trust the Lord. And he'll give you that peace. I mean, even when my mother and father passed, it was not easy. But I actually felt the peace of God come in me. It's just, it's, it's undescribable. You can't even describe it to nobody. You know, you think, well, well don't you feel like about your parents? But yes, I do. I love them. But God will give you that peace. It's past all understanding. You know, I don't even understand it sometimes. I give you peace. <laughs> yeah, the world don't understand yeah. that. And religion don't understand that. They think it's like, oh, if you hadn't hollered and hooped and sung to make them cry, it wasn't no, if you ain't had church or you ain't had no funeral. <laughs> How many you know ignorance gone to shame? Yeah. Right? So what the lady did <coughs> is when her husband passed, when he passed, she says, I'm not going there, meaning that I'm not going to allow that grief, yeah. that spirit of grief to get in there. And when she didn't go there, then her children didn't go there. Yeah. It kept them at peace. She stayed at peace. That's the peace of God that keeps you. 
Now, I didn't say that she didn't miss him because I'm certain she missed him, okay? But there was a balance there. And see, through Christ Jesus, we can do all things. In him, we move and have our being. In him, we can do all things. He will keep you. If you keep your mind stayed on him, he will keep you. God will keep you. Amen. 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 Well, that's all. Uh, I have one thought, but I'm going back again. Um, I think it's number six for making friends. You know, sometimes we don't, <clears throat> if you're like me, you don't want to be bothered with people sometimes. But, you know, God said don't forget to communicate. But sometimes when you make friends, you may not know that in the future you may need them. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I can remember when we had lost everything and then we were beginning to restore it back i'm talking about making friends because you don't know what's going to take place in the future and um uh we wanted we needed a wash and dryer i ain't had no money about no wash and dryer but make yourself friends well it actually was my brother but still make yourself friends who does this he said take my car take my car and go get it get your wash and dryer you pay me back whenever you want to that's because I had made friends. Mm -hmm. See, you think you can do everything by yourself. You need friends. You, you, mm -hmm. need, you need yeah, people. Right. You that's need right. people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. It's like you right. just do it God's way. Yeah. You don't lose. You won't lose. Amen. Now you say, well, then, if God is all that, then why don't he just give me this and give me that? Listen, he don't want that to control you. He wants you to be in control. He wants you to be at peace. He don't want that stuff or those things to be your God, okay? He said, in fact, in his word, he said, thou shalt have no other God before me. No other God. That's what he said. He don't want, uh, 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 you know, people's vehicles can be their gods. Their houses can be their gods. Mm -hmm. People don't have time. Oh, I can't go to church today because I, I got to do this right. I got to wax and clean my car. It ain't been clean and waxed all year. I'm going to do it there on Sunday. Now, didn't say you wasn't saved, but that had become your God. It'd be hard for you to hear from God because you have crowded him out with things and stuff. You put that first, and it's like you, it's hard to hear. He wants to be first. Yes. If, if my wife, all the time she's putting something before me and I never get no attention, something wrong here. Hey, look at here. <laughs> you either all of you or none of you. You know, that's what she told me, and of course, I don't blame her. <laughs> Did it? All of your number. It should be that way, too. It should be that way. Okay? God says, even God says, I am a jealous God, and besides me, there is none of That's what the Word of God says. God Almighty, He don't want us putting other things before Him. That is not His will. He wants us to put Him first. And because He loves us so much and we put Him first, He'll manifest Himself to you. He will give you things. He will show you things. He said he would. I'm going to add this. Not I'm going to add something to you. I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give as you can handle it, as you're able to handle it. That's what he wants. He just wants you to be in the right order because he loves us. So we just let you know how to have peace in a chaotic world. It's just a chaotic world. He just won't. This, we hope this is something that will help you. Uh, that will take you forward, okay, in Jesus' name. Because I don't know what's going on. Like she said, something going on all day today. I told her, I said, I told her earlier, I said, all day there's been a burning within my heart. And I said, Lord, what is it? It's peace. It's just a burning within my heart. And you receive it. Because Jesus is coming. He's coming. He loves you so much. Amen. Okay, you'll be blessed until we reach you again. Again, we just want you to get maybe somebody that tuned in, uh, had never tuned in before, and we do this all the time, and it's so important. In Romans the 10th chapter and verse 9, he said, If you will confess the Lord Jesus Lord, with your mouth and believe in your heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So you want to do that. You first acknowledge that you are a sinner. Everybody, as God says, is going to this world. We're sinners. So he says, you must acknowledge that, admit it. I'm a sinner. And I believe, Father God, that you sent your son Jesus into this world to us to redeem us, that is to bring us back to God the Father. 
right? If I confess it with my mouth and I believe it in my heart that God raised you from the dead after you died, went down to hell for us and rose up again. I believe that in my heart. And God says, now you are a new creation. Something that God you.